Hi friends, in this session we will discuss about directions topic from reasoning. Okay, so this topic is very much important for you whenever you are attending any competitive exam or a placement test. Okay, so competitive exams in the sense like if you are attending any government exam or any other banking exam. So from directions topic you will be getting almost some three to four questions. Okay, so in certain situations they will be also giving you in a paragraph way and try to ask you in five type five different type of questions. Okay. So when you are attending any placement test, you are also getting uh, uh, like some two to three questions. So directly they will be asking you certain, uh, by giving certain kind of questions. So I am discussing in this session uh, different uh, topics how they will be asking you in a different way. So, so we all know that uh, uh, we have certain kind of uh, directions and we all know that this uh, the upper part always says it's north and, uh, and this is going to be east and the opposite of north is nothing but south and opposite of east is nothing but okay west so this is the ha like uh, normally we are having a uh, uh, four kind of major directions that is nothing but north east south and west okay so like these are the major directions and uh, by using these kind of directions we will be solving this directions uh, type of problems and uh, we all know that uh, in between north and east uh, in between north and east we are having northeast and in between uh, south and east we are having southeast okay and in between uh, south and west we are having southwest and in between north and west we are having northwest okay so this is the how we are calling these uh, uh, like you know uh, mid, uh, like middle middle uh, directions so we never call it as like west north or east north not like that okay so we will be calling it as northwest northeast southeast southwest depending upon north and south we are dividing the middle directions also so with these directions also uh, like we are having majorly uh, like almost eight different directions so so we will not say like uh, if someone asks you how many directions we have so we not say like we have eight kind of directions we all we are only having four kind of directions but in between we have different kind of directions that is northeast northwest southeast southwest okay so these are the things uh, like under uh, like you know so the complete uh, degrees is going to be for this uh, uh, four directions is nothing but 360 degree right so if i ask you like what is the angle formed between them is night it is 90 degree right so it is forming 90 degree in total so this is what this is 45 degree and this is 45 degree okay and this is also 90 degree this is 45 this is 45 and this is also 90 this is 45 this is 45 and this is also 90 this is 45 this is 45 so 45 eight is nothing but 360 so total 360 degree okay right so like uh, in some of the questions they will be asking you uh, regarding uh, the sun directions and all okay so we all know that we all know that sun will be rising on the east sun will be rising on the east sun will be rising on the east right and the sun uh, sets in the west so this is the west okay and sun will sets on the west okay so sunset happens on west and sunrise happen on the east so this is also the basic point you need to remember before attending these questions okay so if someone asks you what is clockwise and anti-clockwise means so this is the clockwise direction so clock will be rotating like this and this will be the anti-clockwise direction so these are the basic points someone required to remember in order to attempt these directions problems okay They're as simple as that okay okay so like uh, so i explained you uh, like let's give a quick recap so we have like explained like uh, when explained like there are four major directions from these four major di directions we have uh, like subdivided directions also like northeast northwest southeast southwest like that and sun rises in the east sets in the west okay so clockwise anti-clockwise and the angles concepts we have discussed okay so with this basic kind of uh, uh, so there will be also there are uh, two two, uh, two remaining models also let me discuss that too so it will be more clearer for us so we'll be also using uh, in this directions concept uh, mathematical related uh, small small uh, you know uh, concepts also for example for example in a, in in some of the uh, questions they will be asking about pythagoras theorem so we all know that so like uh, after attending certain kind of uh, uh, so they will be asking like these kind of questions a man started his uh, journey and started in the initial point and uh, uh, went for 20 meters and take a right turn left turn and you turn something like that they will be asking in the framing in a question and uh, at that point of time if you are for uh, like uh, after drawing your uh, diagram if you have any pythagoras theorem like this if you if your diagram is like this so you need to solve in this kind of manner okay for example if you are having like this abc okay so we all know that this is hypotenuse okay hypotenuse and uh, we all know that uh, uh, pythagoras theorem is nothing but 
sides uh, opposite square hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square right so we can write it as ab square plus bc square so this is the concept of hypotenuse so apart from the hypotenuse theorem and there are also some basic uh, mathematical concepts you need to remember before attending this directions topic so it is very easy one so if you prepare in a right way okay so this is the like uh, major concepts we are having so let's directly jump into questions and see some two to three problems so you you will be getting some clear understanding of this direction concept okay yes okay so i am doing the first question for you so i am reading question for you rohit walked for 25 meters towards south then he turned to his left and walked 20 meters so there will be this kind of questions in your examination so you need to be prepared for that so whenever you are trying to uh, reading a question try to draw parallelly one kind of diagram so it will be very easy for you and time saving for you as well okay so rohit started from his uh, one certain kind of position okay so what happened what is doing actually so rohit walked towards south okay so rohit walked for uh, 25 meter towards south okay so let's draw the diagram over here okay so this is the north this is the east this is the south and this is the west okay so the, what they are saying rohit walked for 25 meters towards south so if i say this is 25 meters so you need to represent like this okay so he went for rohit started from his the uh, if we take this is a initial position so rohit walked for 25 meters towards south then he turned to his left and walked 20 meters so then he turned to his left so we need to remember this kind of concept turning right left how you gonna do this okay so see uh, like rohit going to towards south right so if we turn like this this is right and this is his left okay so what they are saying then he turned to his left and walked 20 meters so turn to his left turn to his left in the sense like this and walked for 20 meters so like this he went for and 20 meters see okay so you need to draw accurately you so we cannot draw as it is of the meters and all okay turn to his left and walked for 20 meters and then he turned to his left so turn to his left in the sense so this is the right and this is the left okay walked for 25 meters again he turned to his right again he turned to his right and walked for 15 meters again he turned to his right and walked for 15 meters so right means like this so this is the 15 meters he walked okay at what distance is he at what distance is he from the starting point in that direction okay so here asking at what point he is from the starting position okay so we need to take this we need to count all this so this is all uh, comes under like 20 meters so 20 meters plus this 15 20 plus 15 is how much 35 meters so he is facing which direction so he is going this way this way so this way in the sense east so Rohit apart 35 meters apart from his original position and is facing east so this is the solution so 35 meters east so like this you need to draw the diagram and make a conclusion and pick the option among the four options that is given in your examination okay so very easy question okay so this kind of questions will be getting in your examination so let's try two to three problems you will be getting some overview of this concept okay so let's see the second question so let's see the second question so i'm reading question for you Radha moves towards southeast so let's try the uh, direction so whenever you are coming across any of the direction problems so you need to immediately draw the all directions over here north east south west okay so it will be more clearer for you so they are saying rather moves towards southeast southeast in the sense in between south and east so like this okay southeast so we need to draw like this so for example i am rotating rather is rather over here okay so rather is, uh, is, is this is the initial position of rather and uh, she so rather moves towards southeast 7 kilometers so rather moved like this for a 7 kilometers okay 7 kilometers and after that then she moves towards west and travels a distance of 14 kilometers so west in the sense like this okay so after coming to this point she moves to west and traveled for 14 kilometers 14 kilometers okay from here she moves towards northwest so northwest in the sense like this between between north and west northwest okay northwest so he went she went like this northwest how many kilometers seven kilometers okay so exactly it's like this and finally she uh, 
and finally she moves a distance of 4 kilometers towards east so east is nothing but this one so like this so she moved like this for a 4 kilometers okay so you need to draw accurately all these measurements and try to calculate the solution so this is the so what they are asking towards how far is she now from the starting position so this is the starting position so how far she is from the starting position 10 kilometers right yes okay so how far she from the starting position means she is like having 10 kilometers distance apart so this is the way you need to make a conclusion and try to solve the problem in your examination okay as simple as that so just you need to draw your diagram in a you know better way of understanding for your information you need to drawing the diagram and just try to solve the question so that is the that is the procedure actually okay let's moving forward to the next question so i'm uh, uh, doing third question for you so i'm reading question for you sundar runs 20 meters towards east and turns a to right and 10 meters so like that they will be asking so whenever you are finding a direction problem in your examination you will immediately write the this one northeast south west northeast southwest okay so what they are asking sundar is uh, running uh, so if i'm taking the uh, sundar as a uh, here initial position so towards east east means like this so to east sundar going for 20 meters and uh, turns to right right means downwards okay so right and fine uh, up the left okay so down 10 meters so after this he turns to his uh, towards uh, his right towards his right and runs for goes for 9 meters okay so this is the 9 meters after that he turns to right and go for 5 meter after this he turn to left gone for 12 meter so so this is the 9 right so until this is 9 so still they, they are having 11 meters over here so he went like this and gone for 12 meters and finally turns to right and goes for 6 meter right means like this 6 meters so this is 5 and 6 okay so this is the 6 meters he went for 6 meters so he is asking like now to which direction is Sundar facing so they are not asking about the meters and all from initial point so they are simply asking from which direction is Sundar facing like that they are asking okay so so you need to uh, see the question uh, what they are asking in front only so you simply draw the diagram without mentioning these directions and all so to which direction Sundar facing upwards means north so Sundar is facing north direction okay so this is the simplest solution okay so like I, ha I have explained you uh, like three basic models from directions so if I found any of the important so in of the some of the examinations or placement is they will also saying you so one person started uh, towards uh, sun uh, like sun sunset uh, sunset they will ask if they are mentioning about sunset the person is starting from east if they are uh, uh, going from uh, sun uh, sunset so sunrise is not something that is comes under east sunset is something that is comes under west okay so these are the basic terminologies you need to remember before attending this directions topic and there are also uh, i explained you about pythagoras and basic mathematical operations also they will be asking you for example uh, like in this diagram only if i found a diagram like this okay having like pythagoras theorem okay i hope if if, if this was abc so so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so this is the basic mathematical operations you need to use uh, in order to solve these kind of problems so there will be these kind of problems also in your, your directions chapter so you need to be prepared for that so i have taken three basic models and explained you and i explained the basic concept that will be coming under directions okay i hope this session super helpful for you and if you found this helpful give like share this channel to your friends and colleagues who are preparing for complete exams and uh, do subscribe our channel stay updated to hit the bell icon okay thanks for visiting thank you